There's a lot of you know, internet reports that Douglas is on its way out. Not true, and it's uh, yeah nonsense. He's just getting ready to join us for the season, and he's motivated and uh, ready to go. So, what have been your conversations with him as he's been working his way back? Yeah, to defend his... yeah, he's been great. I mean, he's he's dropped uh, weight. He's just, he's in the same fitness uh, like you know weight as he was when he was at Bayern, and he's so he's dropped that. He looks lean. He's been working on the fitness side of things. He looks quick. Uh, I think he has every motivation from our conversations to help the team be successful as we can be this year. And so um, that's what I see through his work rate. He's been in between the gym and the field. He's been doing everything that, that's been asked of him over the last, uh, you know, six weeks or so that we've gotten him back from this calf issue. And now it's just integrate him into the group and getting him uh, you know, back on the field and playing in matches. It's probably not the way you wanted this season to start. Um... We talk, everybody talked about getting, uh, getting off to a fast start, but you guys yeah. are here um, struggling with injuries and health-wise and, and attack-wise and all that. Where's this group at? You think now we're heading to week, week five? Here? Yeah, I think we're we're in a good spot. Like we we feel like we could easily be sitting on seven points. Uh, we're we're not. We're on three. Uh, you know, we feel like with a couple things going our way here or there that we could be on seven. That's not to say that everything inside of those performances was was exactly where we want to be, but. Uh, given the circumstances, guys being out in the group, uh, you know, working and guys coming in that we are signing, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes in the middle of a, in the MLS season, you got to grind it a little bit, and uh, I think we've grinded well. We haven't given up a goal in the run of play in three games. We gave up one on a set piece. We haven't lost in three games. You know, a couple shutouts back to back. Um, you know, up, up until the 86th minute, 87th minute, I think. Uh, you know, Portland was at a point one goal uh, expected goals, so we had controlled the game nicely. Again, it, it, so for us, it's it's being creating more dangerous chances, putting more balls in the back of the net, giving ourselves uh, the lead and the cushion. Um, but I think there's a lot of positives to come out of the performances so far that you know haven't always translated, obviously, into the points, but and always into the, to the chances that we believe we'll get. But as guys, the con team continues to grow, and as guys start to come back, we're we're certainly going to continue to uh, be more dangerous on that side of things. So, we're we're uh, like I said, there's a lot of positive things to take out of it. I know from a points perspective, we all like to be slightly ahead of where we are, but uh, I think early in the season, it's about building blocks and it's about putting things together that are going to serve you well over the the long stretch of a season. And I think defensively, we've done we've done a nice job in many ways as well. And in the possession, the last couple of games has been a lot better than it was in the first couple of games. <clears throat> Dayon came back healthy. Yeah. Will we be available this weekend? Yeah. Uh, what's the plan for Jonathan Perez? Uh, we saw him on the bench the other game, but what's his plan going going forward from now on? Yeah, Johnny. Just we need to get him games. You know, it's between the you know the off time that he had when he was injured. It, it had been about, and he missed all of the preseason games. It had been about six, seven months since he had actually played in a game. So. We're able to get him 60 minutes and with the second team this week. Uh, so some of it is just match fitness, match sharpness, uh, getting his timing and his rhythm back um, that he had last year. So for us, it's just to keep progressing him and uh, between the first team and you know sometimes with the second team, especially in this phase where we're just trying to get him going, it's just getting him minutes, you know, getting him to catch up a little bit on those things that we just talked about. But he's starting to look sharper and he's starting to look get his speed back and his acceleration and his head and mind are starting to get working inside of the game now and so you know it's just getting the, that stuff back when you've been off for you know for a while so uh, he's certainly trending in the right direction what can he bring to the team once healthy in your vision and uh, in the long in the future yeah jo johnny is a he's dynamic you know he's you look at him and he looks like a you know little teenager kid, but he can fly. He's probably the fastest guy on our team. He's uh, he can beat you on the one-on-one. -on -one. He'll go left. He'll go right. He'll run without the ball. Uh, he has good quality in his final uh, final product. He doesn't need ten chances to put one ball in a good spot. I believe he can be goal dangerous again through his through his acceleration, through his speed, and I think he can create opportunities for us as well. So for us, we you know. We're continue to look for some of that dynamic action, some of that dynamic work on the wings. Johnny is a guy who can help provide some of that for us for sure over the season as he continues to to grow and develop as a player. Thoughts on facing the Sounders? I mean, Jordan Morris had a big game the other day. Yeah. Um, their Sounders are going to be the Sounders. Sounders are the Sounders. You know, they they are uh, they're a good team, mature team. 
Uh, they defend well and they're hard to, they don't give up a ton of chances and the two big center backs do a really good job of protecting the goal along with Fry and midfielders work really hard. They're, they can, you know, they can score goals in different ways between their, their capacity and transition is, is as good as anyone. Again, with, with Morris, with Leo Chu, with the different guys that they have that can, can run in transition, they can be dangerous there. Obviously, Rui Diaz doesn't need an invitation to score goals. He puts things in the back of the net um, like no one in our league, in my opinion. He just needs a chance, a sniff, and he can score. So they can score and get on top of a game. Uh, even if they look like they're completely underwater in the game, they can still get the goal and, and come out on top. They can also hold the ball and play in possession and force you to have to work a bit. So it's a good mature team that, that obviously has been in big games and um, has grown together over the years. So they, they have a lot of qualities going for them. We feel like we can we can certainly possess the ball and move them around. The key for us, as we did last week, is to be able to turn that into real meaningful chances uh, and put the ball in the back of the net uh, and try to get on the front side of the game. So, uh, But we think our ideas and, and the things that we try to do inside of it can help us to control the game with the ball. The question is going to be for us to find the right moments to be dangerous, to, to score, and then to manage the, the different ways that they can they can hurt you in transition, set pieces, things like that. What challenge? I mean, that's a challenge. That, I mean, your back four has been pretty solid all year. You, you, you added Caligari into it now, but um, how does that group face up? You think match up with the Seattle attackers coming, coming, coming at them? Yeah. Again, I think I think if we are responsible about how we use the ball, like for example, this week in Portland, we just didn't give them many transition moments. Portland's a team that wants to recover balls and hurt you in transition, and we were pretty efficient with the ball. We didn't lose it in bad spots the very end of the game we got opened up a little bit but for 86 minutes they had virtually nothing in the transition because we were we were more responsible with the ball than we were in games previous uh, if we can do that against Seattle and not get ourselves uh, into bad transition situations that will help our back line because then we can you know we can defend as a unit and as a group uh, more throughout the course of the game uh, so that's going to be one thing and, and then second is just collectively we have to defend together you know they We'll move together as a group, make things as predictable as possible, manage, again, manage their speed in, in the right moments, and deal with crosses because they'll get the ball out to, you know, whichever rolled on on the outside, and they'll whip in balls that are going to be hard to deal with. And uh, we've done a good job of protecting our goal in those situations, and it's going to be no different this weekend against Seattle. So, again, it's it's a, defending a lot of times is just about collective work. And for us in particular, it's about how efficient we are with the ball that we don't hurt ourselves when we're in possession and put ourselves in tough situations. What's the timetable for Audi? Uh, any day. He's gone through the visa process. We're just waiting for him to get his passport back, and then he can travel. So uh, don't have a specific. It's usually now days, you know. When I say days, one to three days usually before he'll get his passport back and he, he should travel. So he could be on the flight tomorrow. Or he could be on Monday or Tuesday. Um, but usually that's how these things kind of play out at this point. So he's gone through everything else, so we should see him soon. Greg, was it a Sega that left early practice? Uh... It did. I don't know exactly what. I think he slipped, and so uh, he felt something. I don't know exactly where or what it was, but he, he went in to get checked out, so I don't know the, the result of that yet. So. Thanks, Greg. Okay. All right, thank you.